Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is another tricky question, and this is integration by substitution. Now, uh, the tricky part is right at the start. So what I would always recommend to do is to square my substitution if there is a square root involved, and then differentiate implicitly. So differentiating um, with respect to x, well, u squared, um, the variable is not an x variable, so we're going to have to use implicit differentiation. So we differentiate it normally, so 2 comes down, becomes 2u, and then we multiply it through by the u by dx. So that is how we differentiate implicitly. And then this side, well, this is just uh, the variable is x, so this is nice and straightforward. 2x differentiates to 2, and 1 differentiates to 0. Okay, uh, now we can divide both sides by 2, like so. And then we can multiply both sides by uh, dx. And that is nice and... Um, and easy to deal with, so you're not having to deal with square roots and powers of a half. And we've got an expression for a dx, which we will bag up, and we will use that in a moment. Okay, um, what else do I need to do? Well, this is a, uh, a definite integral, so it means that we have limits here. So I'm just going to draw a little table up here, and I'm going to... Uh, say that we have x inputs of 12 and 4. So what are the corresponding u inputs? Well, let's just substitute them into our, um, into our substitution. So when x is 12, we're going to get 2 times 12 is 24, plus 1 is 25. Square rooted gives me 5. And when x is 4, 2 times 4 is uh, 8, plus 1 is 9. Square rooted gives me 3. Okay, fantastic, I've done that part. And what else am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna look here, and I can see this is the square root of eight x plus four. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of tidying up with that. So the square root of eight x plus four is the same as the square root of four times by the square root of two x plus one. Okay, that's nice. So this could be then rewritten as two lots of the square root of 2x plus 1. Okay, and I think I'm good to go now to substitute my things in. So the new integral uh, has different limits. It's now between 5 and 3. Um, the square root of 8x plus 4 is the same as 2 the square root of 2x plus 1. But 2x plus 1, or sorry, the square root of 2x plus 1, is u. So I can just replace that with u. And we've got e to the power of root 2x plus 1, which we know is u. And we also have dx, which we know is u du. Okay, great. So tidying this up. Um, we have 2u squared uh, e to the u, du. Okay, fantastic. So we know that a is 3, b is 5, and k is 2. Great. Just going to grab some more space, and then we'll do part b. Okay, uh, on to the next part, which is a integration by parts. And I've chosen this question because I can do a quicker way of doing integration by parts uh, called the DI method, which is completely legit um, and is a really quick way of doing integration by parts. Uh, in order to do it, we have to set up a table like this. Now, um, we put plus minus and a plus minus here just like that plus minus plus minus plus minus and this is the part we're going to differentiate this is the part we're going to integrate now if you want a full breakdown of this method um, I'll post a link to a video which um, introduced me to the method uh, by a guy called black pen red pen 
Um, but here we go, this is me using the method. So I'm going to differentiate the 2u squared part and I'm going to integrate the e to the u part. We always put the um, uh, a polynomial in the differentiation uh, section. So this differentiates to 4u, which then differentiates to 4, which then differentiates to 0. Now this would integrate to e to the u, and it would continue to integrate to e to the u every single time. Okay, so what makes this method so good? We have the answer. It's all here. What we have to do is just multiply this yellow line together, which gives me 2u squared um, e to the u. Uh, and then we add on this uh, blue line, which looks like this. So that will be negative, because there's a minus sign there, 4u e to the u. Um, and then finally, we uh, add on, well, we just, we just carry on, basically. We go with this one next, which would be add on 4e to the u. Um, and then the way that we stop the method is we integrate across this final one here. But because there's a zero there, we're going to integrate zero. So uh, that's it. That's the end of the method. We've stopped right there. And that is a really good way of integrating using in, uh, integration by parts, but speeding it up. So we've got five and we've got three. Okay, so all we're left to do now is to sub in. So we can do this uh, without using the calculator, I guess. It does say give your answer in, it says the exact value. So I'm going to get um, five squared times two, so that's 50, and that's e to the five. Uh, I'm then gonna get minus 20, again, e to the five, and here I'm going to get plus uh, four e to the five. Okay, great. So those are the uh, inputting five part. And now let's input three in. And that's going to give me 18 e to the three uh, minus 12 e to the three and then plus four e to the three. So now we just need to collect up how many we have of each. So that's 34 e to the five. And this one here will be uh, 10, but it'd be negative because we're taking it away. So it's 10 e to the three. And there we have it. Uh, that is the answer. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, uh, well, I've got so many more tricky questions and more to come as well. And also check out that video from uh, uh, Black Pen, Red Pen. Uh, it's really good and it shows you all the ways of using this particular method. Bye for now.